What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like the video if you appreciate the content that Poe Row and What's the Numbers are providing. Take me back with another profile piece. This one is on Bobby Dimes. In this video, we're going to take a look at his early life growing up in Wilmington, Delaware, where he would start running the streets at a young age and eventually end up in jail. Then we'll talk about his ability to rap and how that grew into him being one of the biggest artists in Delaware after releasing one of the state's biggest anthems to date. And lastly, we will take a look at the details surrounding his shooting death in November of 2016 and also the information that's been released recently related to Bobby Dimes. Robert T, better known as Bobby Dimes, is from Wilmington, Delaware and grew up on the east side of the city. Many people don't look at Delaware as a dangerous place to live, but actually Wilmington, which happens to be the biggest city in the state, has one of the highest crime rates per capita in the United States. The shootings and killings in Wilmington have gotten so frequent throughout the years that they started calling the city murder town in the local newspapers. Bobby, like many other kids raised in the city, would end up falling into the streets a bit by his late teenage years. Already outside of hanging with a crew of friends, Dimes would little by little start to find his way and would become somewhat successful in hustling. Dimes would be able to provide for him and his family by the time he hit his early 20s, but eventually his street dealings would catch up to him and he would end up serving some time in jail. During the years that Bobby was on the streets hustling and also serving time in jail, Rapping was a hobby and hidden talent of his. It started out as something he did while hanging out with his friends drinking. Once the liquor gave Bobby a nice buzz, he would always start freestyling over different beats and had a good flow. It wasn't long before those around him could tell he had the natural gift of being able to rap. Once Bobby was released from jail, he would become a part of OT Records, a local hit making label in Wilmington known for putting out one of Delaware's most popular songs, Socks in the Air, by veteran artist Shiz Nini. Socks in the Air toured through the tri-state area from 2008 to 2010 and featured a remix that included Philly's own Meek Mill on the song. Although Bobby Dimes was in jail for much of Shiz Nitty's success with Socks in the Air, he promised his friend and eventual label mate that the whole time he was locked up he was writing and when he got home he was going to be serious about his work. And that's exactly what Bobby did once released from prison. He jumped right in the studio and began working on music and eventually a mixtape. It was during these studio sessions that Bobby would record Out Delaware after coming across a beat that was originally made for Shiz Nitty. The beat came with a line from Meek's verse from Socks in the Air that would eventually be sampled and used as the hook of Out Delaware, which would become Bobby's Dime's most popular track of his career. The song would do numbers for Bobby, and in no time he'll be getting radio spins and shows in other markets like New Jersey and Philly. DJ Cosmic Kev, a mainstay on Philly radio, would play Out Delaware regularly on Power 99, and Bobby would eventually record the remix with P.D. Crack, who was a former Rockefeller slash state property artist. Now with many people looking at Bobby as the new face of Delaware, major labels would start paying more attention to him. He was working on putting Delaware on the map musically and was controlling the local hip hop scene for about a good three years straight by releasing songs and videos. Bobby's main focus during that time was to build his buzz some more with the hopes of one day taking his career to the next level. But as is the case with many people living in the hood, real life situations would keep popping up in Bobby's life. Besides for some local rap beef, Bobby would have deeper street issues that over time would come to the surface. First an argument with a man in October 2016 that would result in Bobby pulling a gun from his waistband and firing a shot at the man shattering the rear driver's side window of a nearby vehicle, but missing the unidentified man. Bobby would be arrested for the shooting and hit with reckless endangerment and gun possession charges and would be released back to the streets on a $60,000 bail. But after the shooting and arrest, Bobby's vibe was a little off according to those around him. Not really scared, but more so on point and alert of his surroundings. Bobby felt as if someone were out to get him. His mother even mentioned certain things about Bobby's behavior after the arrest in a newspaper article. And sadly to say, Bobby was writing how he was feeling and thinking because a month after his arrest in November of 2016, he was gunned down in the area of 22nd and Jefferson and died from his injuries. Wilmington police said he was shot in the head, arms, and legs. Now, no one has been arrested for killing Bobby Dimes in the years since it happened. But in January 2019, Bobby's name will be back in the news headlines when Delaware Kingpin Brian Wilson, a.k.a. B. Wills, was indicted alongside Eric Ray in Newcastle County Superior Court on charges of first-degree murder in the death of Alan Cannon. The indictment states that Ray and Wilson conspired to murder Cannon with Robert T., a.k.a. Bobby Dimes. The indictment does not detail Bobby's connection to Cannon's death, other than listing him as part of the conspiracy. Cannon's death happened two months before Bobby was killed. 
But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. It's a quick profile piece on Robert T, better known as Bobby Dimes. Now, like I said, a lot of things came to light after his death as far as like he has certain things going on in the streets now. Can't say for sure because he's not here no more. And plus the, the information that they had to indict him, they got it like hidden where they can't really see exactly the connection between Bobby Dimes and the B. Wills and the Eric Ray dude supposedly. But, you know, with the shooting before, you know what I'm saying, saying he was involved in this, his time doing jail. You know, it's, it's safe to say that, you know, he was in the streets also, but he has some type of rap career buzz also. But, you know, him being in Delaware, maybe, because one thing I ain't I've been to Delaware before. Now, I used to go, a couple people I knew used to go to school out there and all that back in the day, right? But I know one time I was, I ain't been, I've been to Wilmington like three, four times, but I remember one time I was in the city for like a day or two, right, moving around. All I remember about Wilmington, one time I was coming down the block, we driving, and I swear the whole neighborhood had to be outside on one block. It was like a hundred people in one block. I'm like, what? It's, you know, when you, most times when you out of town or like certain areas, you don't really see too many traffic as far as like foot traffic out. You know, a lot of people drive, move around these different towns and different states and all that. But wherever I was at in Wilmington that day, it was a thousand people outside in the street. That's one thing I remember about Wilmington. But so, but it's, so like I said, it's definitely a dangerous city as far as like things go down out there. You know what I'm saying? That certain part of Delaware is nice as hell. Like, but you know, Wilmington, things go down out there. So maybe he was involved in certain things, but he did have that out Delaware song that was blowing up. The song still gets played today. Actually, Joe Biden was playing it at like one of his presidential campaigns or when they won or something like that. I think when they won, they was playing the song when he came out to one of his, you know, speeches and all that. They were playing the song. So, you know, because he's from Delaware also. So it's still like the Delaware National Anthem as far as like rap concern on the rap tip. So he could have made it, but, you know, maybe they didn't have that much of an underground release between like artists in from Philly. Like a lot of artists in Philly get money in Delaware doing shows or um, Jersey. A lot of people from PA, they be out there hustling. There'd be a lot of things going on in Delaware. People, you know, don't sleep on Delaware. It's the first state, though. There ain't no taxes in Delaware. You didn't pay no taxes. But you might, that's here, here, no there. But yeah, um, like I said, man, was, you know, shout out to Bobby Dons. Rest in peace. You know, he, it's safe to say he did have some dealings. You know, he was involved in some things in the street. But still, and he, you know, he also had a promising rap career that maybe if he was able to, you know, still be out here, he might have been able to take that to the next level. He come in another hit. Because you got one hit. Now you open the door, people know who you is a little bit, you come with another one. Maybe he could have took it off and actually had some type of career where it helped him move around a little bit. But see how that didn't happen. So, you know, rest in peace to him. And um, yeah, that's the profile piece on Bobby Dimes. Now, real quick, the last video I dropped the Harlem Hammer. Shout out to y'all. It's over like 350,000 views in like a week. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that messed with that video. Subscribe to the channel. It was a little different as far as like it wasn't somebody in the street. It was a little different, but the way it blew up. I'm going to have to start doing more stories like that since people are interested in it. Now, also, think about it like this. Anybody who's looking for promo, what if you was on that video, $100, $200, maybe you could have had something, you know, promoting in the front, a mixtape, a song, your YouTube channel. That's That video got 300000 350000 organically, views organically, you know what I'm saying? I, this is all organic, no cosigns, it's all what's the numbers TV. And you could have been promoting whatever you had going on in front of that. So, you know, holler at me. We talk some numbers, we get it right. Anybody looking for promo, but y'all go follow on Instagram. I need y'all to lock follow that Instagram. I'm trying to build that up now. Um, the emails in the description, any business, Patreon, membership, merch, all that good stuff, man. It's what's the numbers TV? It's your boy Paul Rowe. We'll be back before you know it. We out of here. Peace.